Today on CJ at the Movies, two young soldiers are on a race against time in the World War I drama, 1917. I'm Chris Zweig, and today on CJ at the Movies, I'll be dishing on 1917, the latest World War I epic from director Sam Mendes, which not only made my list of the best films of 2019, but also won the Golden Globe for Best Picture and Best Director. Let's take a look. The movie is not a history film, but rather based on the director's grandfather's stories in the war. It stars Dean Charles Chapman and George McKay as two young soldiers who must deliver a message to their colonel about calling off the next attack against the Germans under General Colin Firth's orders. If you fail, it will be a massacre. The editing by Lee Smith and cinematography by Roger Deakins convinces us that 1917 was filmed in one or two shots. This illusion makes it one of the best war films I've ever seen. But it's not just the technique we need to single out. We must also appreciate the love and commitment Sam Mendes makes in retelling one of his grandfather's accounts with co-writer Christy Wilson Kearns. And the performances from Chapman and McKay are fabulously perfect. I think it's clear that when you see movies in which actors are given small roles, you might not recognize them that much. But when you see them in significant roles, like I saw in 1917, you might undergo a change of perspective. That's what I do. As a Golden Globe winner for Best Picture, it'll win your heart, and even my great uncle Mike, who also served in World War I, would have loved it too. Well, that's my four star review of 1917. If you like this review and other reviews coming up, please subscribe to my channels, and you can also read my written material at cjthemovies.com. I'm Chris Zweig, and I'll see you at the movies.